there are some people in this world who are very motivated towards what they want and in NLP terms we refer to those individuals as having a, a towards preference so um, I liken it very much like the donkey and the carrot and the stick so it, the donkey's got that big wire and the, the you know the carrot dangling and it's walking towards the carrot and it just keeps walking because it's not getting any closer you know every step the donkey takes the carrot just moves <laughs> the same distance ahead and there are people in life who are like that you know they they know what they want and they're going towards it and sometimes this can make them quite blinkered you know they don't always notice things but people with a towards preference can also be very very driven they're also very solution focused so regardless of what your preference is you need to, when you're interacting with somebody in a sales situation if you recognize that they have a towards preference you need to be offering them solutions what they are going to gain from a relationship with you now then you've got another group of people who are motivated away from what they want now these are the people who are always saying well I don't want this and I don't want that every time you ask them what they want all they'll tell you is what they don't want now the great thing about people who are motivated away from is whilst they might not be focused on what they want to achieve they're more focused on the place they want to move away from that also makes them great problem solvers so as for you as like when you're in a sales situation the thing that you really need to focus on is when you've identified that they have an away from preference is that you highlight the problems you are going to solve because that's exactly where their area of focus is and these are the people that in the case of the donkey don't want to be hit with the stick so you know recognizing that in yourself actually can help you develop strategies to to help you overcome it but what's really important in sales is that you recognize what the preferences of that person that you're interacting with in the context that you're talking about and what I've got in the handout are some um, questions that you can use to really funnel down on whether somebody is towards or away from. In, in NLP there's a, a, a technique where if you want to get somebody's meta program in a particular context you might say to the person that you're interacting with what's really important to you in the area of um, education or stress or IT security um, and whatever their response is will give you a clue as to whether they have a towards or an away from preference so if it's IT security that person might say well I'm really worried about computer hacking and someone getting into my system that's an away from statement and then you will ask well why is that important to you and I, I ask that question three times and the reason I ask it three times is that people can very often give you responses that they perceive to be the right response. So by asking that question three times you'll really be able to gauge why is that important to you? So why is, you know, the fear of you being hacked, why is that important to you? Well, you know, I know somebody who had their identity stolen and the fear of that happening to me is oh so identity theft is really important to you so why is that important to you so start to, to really funnel down and if they res you will be able to gauge from that type of questioning whether somebody is towards or away from and then you really have the ability to sell to them in a really exquisite way that is really their map because um, what I've found when I go into organisations and do sales training is towards people will sell as if everyone out there is towards. They will give solutions. They will tell every prospect or client what they're going to get from the relationship, the benefits. But to and away from, they don't give us stuff about benefits. Mm -hmm.
So if you only use towards language, you are missing a huge percentage of the population. Equally, if you're away from, then you will go in and say, no, we can solve this problem, we can solve that problem, you won't have that problem anymore, no, that'll be fine, you'll be able to avoid that. And we can eliminate this. Well, to somebody who's an away from, that's like music to their ears. But it's complete gobbledygook to someone who's towards. They don't care about problems. They don't even notice problems. So it's about, if, you, if you're not sure whether someone's towards or away from, you use both. And that's the safest thing. Um, what I've got here is a list of pains and gains that I used to use uh, for a telesales service. So all of these comments are really brilliant for using with away from. All these comments are really brilliant for using with toward. Now if you have more than one target audience you will need to compile one of these for every target audience because a business owner of a small business have these pains and gains. A um, sales director in a huge organisation will have different pains and gains. So, and for each service, so this is the pains and gains for telesales, I have different pains and gains for sales training, I have different sales, uh, pains and gains for sales and marketing recruitment. So you need one of these for every service and every target audience. And the rules are, you must use you language. We is banned. We or I is not allowed. So it's you language. It needs to be layman's language. A five-year-old needs to understand the statement. If you need to explain the statement, it's too complicated. And make sure that each statement just focuses on one element. So don't have a couple of sentences relating to something wide keep each statement very specific and this is for your use you won't be giving this to clients this is just to help you to pitch you can use these statements in proposals all kinds of things so when you're interacting with these people you need to really bring to life for them what pain you're going to get rid of or what gain a relationship with you is going to bring